Good morning, fifth grade. Today is Friday, June 12th, and we're going to be doing grammar. As a little reminder before we start, don't forget that today is Day of the Arts. At 5 p.m., you will join the video broadcast. So if your teacher hasn't shared with you the link for that yet, go ahead and ask them for it today so that you can join the whole school um, at Day of the Arts tonight at 5 p.m. So to be prepared for this video, you need scratch paper and a writing utensil and you need to open up your grammar packet for today. To do that, you'll go to fifth grade distance learning, click on week 13, click on grammar, and then click on Friday's assignment. Grab your materials and come back to the video when you're ready. Now you're gonna go ahead and pr um, practice all of the problems independently and then come back to the video to discuss your answers when you're done. For part A, we needed to fill in the conjunction that best completed the sentence. For number one, it says, I looked for broccoli in the grocery store, but the store only had asparagus. We use the conjunction but here because we are showing um, the opposite ideas that they were looking for broccoli, but then they needed to buy asparagus or the store only had asparagus. For dinner, I cooked pasta, garlic bread, and asparagus. We're using the conjunction and because it's showing like a series, an item in a series. Um, so they cooked all of these things. So we would use and to include the asparagus. I've been studying a lot for my test, so I know I will do well. We use the conjunction so because it's saying that since they have been studying, they will do well. It's showing a cause and effect relationship. Last, after the test, we can watch a movie or go for a walk. There are two options here, watch a movie or go for a walk. So that's why we use or. You can't watch a movie and go for a walk at the same time. So that's why you would not use the word and. For the next two problems, you're gonna go ahead and check your work against mine, making sure that you have all the correct answers. And if you don't, revise it and try again so that you understand and are prepared for your exit ticket quiz. The secret code for today's exit ticket quiz is powerful, P-O-W-E-R-F-U-L. Powerful, P-O-W-E-R-F-U-L. Once you're done checking your work, you can go ahead and get started on your exit tickets for today. 